Hey guys, what's up? PK Sloth here. Um, I recently got bored, to be quite honest, and I decided to see if a PS2 emulator would run at all on my computer, to be quite honest, and it does. Um, first game I tried, of course, it's got to be Bully slash Kane's Kane of Edit, as it's called in Europe. Um, yeah. Uh, this is basically a tutorial showing you what settings I used to get it to run on my computer. It runs at a, a usable speed. Um, it can get up to 50 FPS, which is the actual playing limit on an actual PS2. Uh, but it will drop to 20 at some points, like when sometimes when you're sprinting or starting a fight and there's loads of people about, it can sometimes drop. Um, right, so I'll go ahead and show you what plugins I'm using. Um, all of these are the default ones. Um, my video one is GSDX4600 MSVC 15.00 SSS E3 0.1.16. Uh, yep. Uh, as I said, all the other ones are the normal default plugins, so you shouldn't need to change them at all unless your computer just doesn't like them. Okay, um, start here. All of this is the same apart from down here. Put this to negative and this to normal. Um, those two are the same. That's that, that's chop zero, that's normal. Uh, I've kept all this the same as well, didn't want to mess with this. Um, all I did here was change my window size for playing the game. That It doesn't affect uh, the speed of the game at all, so that's just how big you want the screen to be when you play it. Okay, I enabled um, INTC spin detection, weight loop detection, MVU flag hack and MVU block hack. I did not use enable fast CDVD. Um, the cycle rate is to the max. Um, if it does affect your audio, I would not put it up to 3, I'd put it like down to 2. Um, this I'd put to there, up to two, for you cycle stealing. Um, it says not recommended, both of these do, but I found this doesn't affect the game at all and it increases the FPS by like 20, so it is worth it. I didn't put this up to max because although it gave me about an extra 3-4 FPS, it did start showing graphical glitches and all that stuff, so yep. uh, not any no game fixes at all. Okay. So yeah, all these are the same. Uh, let's see. Um, right, back into plugin settings. I'm using the renderers Direct 3D 11 hardware. I've got no interlacing. Um, I'm having the PS2 resolution as native. I'm not having a custom resolution and that's it for this screen um, I did try Direct 3D 9 hardware software I did try Direct 3D 11 software all of them aren't as good as Direct 3D 11 hardware but that is just on my computer so it might be different for you if you're playing <coughs> so yeah um, I'm going to start the game up I will let you see a bit of the opening cutscene, uh, then I will just run about for a bit, uh, show you the speed drops in the game and stuff. I would like to say uh, I am using my original PS2 disc for this, so I haven't ripped the ISO from the disc onto my hard drive which might let me gain some FPS but I haven't decided to do that yet. Uh, I might decide to do another video in the future um, comparing speeds to ISO to DVD 
Uh, normally ISO is a bit faster because it's reading direct instead of going for a disk. So I'll go ahead and boot the game up. Okay, it does take a while to load, so... As you can see, it's like 50 FPS for this loading screen. <coughs> Which is good. Um, Cutscenes like this, it will run perfectly fine for most of it. Uh, I've seen, however, at the end of this cutscene, it does go down to about... 10 FPS. Jimmy, please say so something. if you can skip it, skip it. James? What? Who are you? Mom, I thought you told me never to talk to strangers. Like I said before, Jimmy, please be nice to your new stepfather. Okay, rich guy. I love it that you're twice as old as my grandfather and you're fat and bald. Uh. That's enough! I've had it with you, you little brat! You've upset your mother. I've got half a mind to beat you. Half a mind is right. Suddenly he realizes. I can't believe you, you little monster. We'll deal with you when we get back from our honeymoon. Next. as you can see it's running pretty much perfectly now this is just a cutscene though so you know Here we are, boy. Oh, this is where it starts to slow down I really don't know why but it does start to slow down quite a lot actually Right, okay, uh, this bit gets really tenuous, so I will cut this little last bit out from around about now to the end of the cutscene. Okay guys, we're back. Uh, we're at the loading screen now. The loading screens are pretty good. Uh, they're not much longer than if you're actually playing on a PS2. <laughs> Which is good, obviously. Yeah, see, it's it's not taking that much longer, if not a little bit faster, actually. That screen looks okay, which is good, <laughs> it's good, good, but once we get into the game, that's when the fun begins, right, another sort of cutscene, so, I'll only play a little bit of this one, it's a bit slow though, isn't it? Mom, why'd you marry that phony? What is wrong with you? As you can see here, the audio is a bit slow. Um, I can't when I was testing this, this earlier, it was running faster than this, so about 40 FPS, not 20. I think it's you just because I'm be recording it, obviously. Hawkins. So, Where'd you come from? yeah, that's why it's We've taking so long. You? I did 
did expect for Welcome recording this to, to affect Bloom the speed. So there we go. Academy. Okay, I'm going to go I'm ahead and sure cut the rest of the cutscene out from this. Brown for naughty little. Okay guys, we're back at the loading screen and it's now gone into the game. Uh, as you can hear the sounds a bit... It's a bit crap, to be honest. But what do you expect from a PS2 emulator? I mean, come on. We're running at a good 30 FPS right now. Let's just start to sprint it. Mm, a, f a bit of an FPS drop there. But I think this is pretty much playable if, if you're very patient with it. But I really do not have the patience with this game to play it all the way through like this. Um, I have got the PC copy. Uh, it's not working yet. I'm just gonna collect this. Um, if I get that working, though, I should probably have a bully playthrough on my channel. So if you want to watch that, sub and you'll see that when it comes out. It won't be too long. Right, let's see what the FPS drop is like when I fight this guy. Let's see it's Okay! So you wanna get beat down! It's not so much dropped, it's Okay, there we go. Yeah. Oh, oh no. The time has come for me to show my true colors. Oh, oh, that, oh, it's got hurt. Yeah, this runs normally at about 40 to 50 FPS when I'm not recording it. So this isn't exactly a true recording of what it's like, but ever recording something it will slow it down so yeah if you've got a similar t computer to mine then you should expect 40 to fp uh, 40 to 50 fps oh have i now uh if you don't my, know my pc specs uh, i've got an intel core 2 quad q6600 processor 2.4 gigahertz 8 gig DDR3 RAM. Uh, I've got a NVIDIA GeForce GTX 460. I believe. I believe it's 460. That isn't overclocked at all. Okay. Let's see what this is like. Hello there, ma'am. Hello there, ma'am. So yeah, this game is playable at this sort of FPS, but you'd really need a lot of patience to play it, to be quite honest. Because you will get ah, yes. glitches and everything. So and you must be Hopkins. Personally, I'd wait until the emulator gets a bit better, maybe, or you've got a well, a fantastic computer, because otherwise. I I don't know. Unless you find a magical so here graphics I am, plugin. And probably the worst school then in the country. There you go. Whose alumni are nothing but arms dealers, serial killers, and corporate lawyers. So this seems okay. Real here. scum. And that old creep thinks he can tame me? We shall see, my friend. I only give people what they have coming to them. See, it's hitting 50 FPS right now. Where's your uniform, young Hopkins? Run along now, child. Oh, shut up. Okay, uh, I think I'm going to end it here. Do you see the settings I use? Bars, uh, you see how it runs. Uh, it does run normally a bit faster than this when I'm not recording, as I've already said. Uh, another factor in this. This is running from the PS2 disc, not an ISO. Uh, so if you've got your own PS2 disc of this game and you've got a 
ISO software, you can rip the disc onto your hard drive and it should be a tiny bit faster. For obvious reasons, so it not having to read off the disc. So yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna end it here. Um, and now there's some guy chasing me. Okay. Have you studied Toen Yeah. Uh, so subscribe, like, comment. If you find settings that are better than this, uh, leave them in the comments. Where what you changed and if you use a different graphics plugin, uh, I would like to find out really. You need eyes, sir. Uh, yeah, look out for Bully Playthrough if it ever gets done. Check out my other videos on my channel, uh, doing Spyro stuff, normal Minecraft stuff as well. Thanks a lot for watching, hopefully you get this working if you want to play the game. It's an awesome game. So I will see you next time people, I'll end punching this guy. Bye! <laughs> Bye everyone.